I'm here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm currently running for the Dragon Bones uh, update. Uh, this is for the Magic Templar um, race. I am an Argonian. We're gonna go dual wield, sword and board. Okay. Um, this is a light armor build. All right, sets. So we're gonna run five piece spinners, five piece wizards repas since we're in light. Um, two piece Zans. Okay. Um, any sword and board you want on the back bar, I just run two piece lich just because uh, we get magic recovery. Okay, and then dual wield. We're gonna do one urn home with a shock glyph. One sharpen with an oblivion glyph. Uh, you can do a disease or you can do a weapon. Damage chain, it's up to you. Um, poisons, we're going to do uh, drains magic from your target, increase the cost of their magic abilities by 3%, and restores 238 magic for 6 seconds. Um, this does help just for more sustain. Right? And then pots, tries, and move pots is what I recommend since you're Argonian. Um, food, I like this one just because it gives you. Max magic, max stamina, max health. I think the max stamina helps out a bunch. Okay. Um, you could run this too, but I'd run more triglyphs on your three big pieces head, chest, and legs. So that's that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Mundus stone real quick. Uh, we're going to run magic recovery, Mundus, so the Atronach. Stage 4 vamp. Okay. Uh, I do have a alliance bonus, Emperor. We have Emperor in this campaign, so my health and stuff is kind of above and beyond. But you should be sitting around like 26k or high 25 like that. Okay, so going this back to the sets, Zans, spell crit, and then when you deal damage with the light or heavy tag, you get 20% chance to create a beam of fire. This beam deals flame damage every one seconds to the enemy for five seconds. Uh, you know, increases every second by 50%. This is crazy. A lot of damage. Um, 10 meters away. Uh, before it breaks. So that's what's up. Uh, 18 second cooldown. Um, I know it seems like a lot, but realistically, it's not that bad. And 20% is a lot. Okay. What's your post? Um, you get max health, spell damage, magic recovery, and then when you take critical damage, you apply man minor maim to all enemies for 15 seconds, reducing their damage done by 15%. Um, I never really used this set that much, to be honest with you. I didn't use it last patch, but I went ahead and went with it this patch, and I really like it. I kind of wish I started using it sooner. Um, I was using Shackle before this, just because it gives you all stats, which is really nice. But honestly, this is pretty pretty legit, especially in light armor. And since you're more of a brawler type style with this kind of stuff, with this, with this setup, so I think this is a must. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about spinners. Um, max magic, max magic. Since you could lose a lot of max with this stuff, there's no max magic with this. You can use spinners, you can get max magic, and the spell damage, and the spell pin. Uh, it's just nice because there's a lot of tank meta. A lot of tanky guys, this patch, sword and board. Um, I know it doesn't really affect shields, but honestly, Templar's got enough burst where like it's not that big of a deal, to be honest with you. So I think spinners is best. Um, you could run War Maiden, or you could run yeah, or Shackle, whatever you want to do. Um, I also do run three Regen Glyphs, okay. And for my big pieces, I got one Max Magic, one Max Magic, and then a Try Enchantment. Um, I would do two Try Enchantments, a three and Try Enchantments, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. Um, okay, let's go to skills real quick. So we gotta run a meteor. Okay, you run meteor. You can run for your front bar. You run meteor. You can run crescent sweep. Um, the reason we're running three regen glyphs is because of the fact that puncture and sweeps like it got a buff in damage. Okay. So let's say it's, let's say it's like one thousand two hundred something. Now it's you know twenty eight k over three k buffed. Okay, that's a lot. A lot of damage. Okay. Uh, CC, top lane charge, gap closer. Uh, we got purifying light. Always apply this on your target. Total dark. Um, I like to have it just kind of as like a safe go. Some people like to spam it, which is un really unnecessary to be honest with you. So I'll just kind of use it for people who get up on you and stuff and just 
more people who are sniping you. I usually use it for people who snipe, or for ranged characters. Um, or like a Nightblade who I feel is about to in-cap me. Vampire's Bane, Badass Dot, lasts for like almost 12 seconds, and plus you gain spell crit from this ability, have it on your bar. Okay. Hot back bar. So, we're gonna be using Honor the Dead. This helps with the stain. Uh, healing anyone who is below 75% health. Restore 6% of the ability's cost over 8 seconds. That's magic. That's really nice. Um, use Extended Ritual. Okay. This, cl this cleanses poisons, by the way, too. It cleanses everything. So, I love this ability. Channel Focus. Uh, we want to use this because you get Major Resolve, Major Ward, and um, you also get magic. So, this helps with the sustain. Right. Uh, all right. So, like I said, we are a vampire. We are five lives. Make sure you got your passes. Yep. These right here. This one. Vamp. Loose of mist. You gotta have this. Trust me. You want this. You really do want this. Um, and you want these. And you want bats as well. Okay. Iron swarm. Uh, one of your mid passes. One of your dot of metal. Um, you got to see you got skills, get this. Definitely want combat frenzy. Get a chance, get that. Argonian. Um, my top three races would definitely be Argonian, Dark Elf, Breton. Um, you run High Elf too. It's up to you, honestly. Honestly, Dark Elf, Dark Elf and High Elf are pretty much the same in my opinion. I like on my blue. That I got imp on, I was a dark elf on that character. Uh, I liked it because of the extra stam, so I could run uh, witch mothers. She gets your medicinal use. Okay. Um, do a little pass. Make sure you get all your sword and board passes. Right. Oh shit. What am I doing? My hand shield. Yeah. Sword and board passes. You want all this? It's all the good stuff. Why is he throwing dual wield? We'll definitely want this passive right here because your your damage done. Um, I don't know about ruffian and dual wield expert, especially this one. I'm not really I'm not sure about sure about ruffian right here. I'm not really while well, using dual wielding attacks. I don't know if it counts as this, but it doesn't say abilities, so I don't know. So I went ahead and locked it. Um, so that's that. And then I would do the, don't do this because increase your damage with dual wield abilities. So these are the abilities right here. Active abilities. Against enemies while they're 25% health. Um, if, if I'm wrong, please comment below. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you don't have to put skill points in that. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop in the CP. Make sure you guys, by the way, make sure you guys get all your uh, your passives for all of this. That's what's the nice thing about a Templar. Everything you need everything it helps, right? Okay, champion points. So we're gonna be running 56 Warlord, 19 Siphoner, 75, 37. 5, 48, 27, 37, 56, 35, 2, 2, 20, 61, 6, 4, 38, 23, 49, 49, 11. Um, sorry guys, uh, that's the build, so uh, if you guys have any questions or you know have any uh, ideas to make it better, uh, CP wise, I'm not really 100% sure if that's min max by any means. Um, I don't really test that stuff to be honest. So if there's something that can be changed, comment below. Uh, you know, definitely helps everyone, including myself. Any questions too? Just comment below. I uh, do a pretty good job of getting back to everyone. So, anyways, y'all have a good weekend. Uh, enjoy the new update. Um, Templars are OP, bro. So, anyways, have a good day. Bye.